Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Hypixel Skyblock video. So, Hypixel just added a bunch of brand new farming tools that speed up not only building new farms, but also the speed that players can farm crops by a huge amount. In this video, I decided that it was time for me to make the ultimate farming setup for grinding so much XP and also millions of coins per hour. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I did it and also how overpowered the brand new hoe that I crafted for 45 million coins actually is. I had to build for about 15 hours just to make this video, so I'm going to set a pretty high light goal today. So if we can hit 15k likes, I will go all the way to farming 50. I'm literally only farming 25 after finishing this video, so as you can see, it's a very long way away, but it will make some entertaining content, so if you guys want to see that, then like the video right now. But yeah, that's all for the intro, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Alright, so I thought I'd start this video with a quick recap of what the farming festival actually is, because you guys are gonna see some time lapses of me building my, like, entire farm really quickly with this, like, brand new builder's wonder item. So yeah, if I run into this farming house right here, you guys can see that there are two NPCs, so this dude right here lets you claim rewards from previous festivals. And if you guys don't know what the contest slash festival things are, basically... Every, like, what is it, one hour in real life, there's a contest for a certain type of crop. And depending on how much you farm, you get different rewards. So right here I can claim my, like, sugarcane contest reward. And I was in the silver bracket, so that means that I get 15 Jacobs tickets and also this Turbo Cane one book. Now what you can actually do with these tickets is you can trade them with this Anita person. So what I'm gonna do is convert my four silver medals into one gold. And there's all of these things you can buy, like the basket of seeds, the hole of greater tilling, dirt wand, like tons of things that just let you build farms really quickly, but also you can buy extra farming drops which are quite expensive because it takes a gold medal and a bunch of tickets, but I can actually buy this right now because I've been saving up for a while, so we get plus 6% extra chance for double drops. See, before I spend all of my coins on the brand new overpowered hoe, I'm just going to show you guys what all of these items do. So first of all we have the builder's wand, so basically if you right click the face of a block, it extends it to all connected faces. So basically what that does is it just lets you make a huge line of any type of block you want, which is obviously really good for making farms. Next, we have the Prisma Pump. So basically what this does is if you place it down and then you place a water bucket next to it, it just shoots out the water all the way to the end. So you guys can see right there. Obviously that's going to be quite useful for adding water to the land that you can till with this hole right here. So yeah, as you can see, if you just like right click, it tills all of the land. So if I build a pumpkin farm with all of this stuff, I can build it in like maybe a quarter to like an eighth of the time that it usually would take. And then for the basket of seeds, all you have to do is just like buy some of the stuff that you want to put inside. So I'm going to buy some carrots right now. Then you put the carrots inside and if you right click, it just plants all of them and you can just literally plant everything you need. And as you can see, I just made a really good carrot farm that's going to grow like nice and quickly in a couple of seconds when that would have taken me like way longer. So now you guys know how all of the new items work. I'm going to show you guys a time lapse of me building all of the different farm layers that I made for this video. I started off with a tiny farm that was half the length of this sugarcane thing. And obviously I finished with this. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> So if I just go ahead and look at my calendar really quickly, you guys can see that in 5 minutes and 30 seconds, there is a sugarcane farming contest. Now this farm right here that I built isn't quite infinite, I need to expand it slightly more for it to like, be farmed and be regrown at the bottom by the time I finish the top layer. But the farming event only lasts for 20 minutes, so this right here is way more than enough for me to actually like, infinitely farm it. So I actually got my hands on a mathematical hoe blueprint, which is a hoe that can be adapted into 5 specialized hoes. And it says right click to view recipes, so I'm gonna right click this, and if I go to the the fourth recipe, we have a Turing sugarcane hoe recipe. All I need is 512 cane, and then it turns into a specialized Turing sugarcane hoe. And once I've broken 100k, it actually goes up in rarity. Yeah, basically this hoe just increases double drops and also your farming XP as well. So literally what I'm going to do right now is just buy 512 of this. I'm just going to go ahead and craft this Turing sugarcane hoe. There we go. So now I get plus 10% more and 1% farming XP. So I need to be kind of quick because the event starts in literally like three minutes. So after I built the first layer of farm, I did one more sugarcane event, so if I right click this guy and claim my rewards, I actually have a bronze medal somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So basically from this, we get a Turbo Cane 1 book, but now I actually have a bronze medal. What I can do is buy Turbo Cane 3. 
Now this is going to be pretty expensive because obviously everybody wants these books. But if I just type in cane and go into consumables and go into the lowest price ones, we can buy turbo cane 3 for 1.9 mil. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to buy harvesting 5 for like 10k coins. And that increases the double drops by a huge amount. And I'm also going to buy this blessed fruit reforge stone so that I can like reforge this to blessed. And that's going to give me more double drops as well. So all I got to do now is just combine these together and put it on my hoe for 16 levels. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the reason why I did turbo cane 3 is you need a silver medal to actually unlock Turbo Cane 4 and then a gold medal for Turbo Cane 5. So this is all I can do right now. I'm also going to apply Blessed for 10k coins. So let's do this. There we go. We get plus 5 speed and also 1% farming XP and the chance for double crops increases by plus 5%. And I'm just going to place down my level 100 elephant. Not a big deal or anything, just like a 50 mil pet. And if I just go into my calendar, how long do we have? 30 seconds, dude. Okay, I'm ready for this. My speed is 254%, which is pretty much the like exact optimal speed. And we're just going to start right here and hopefully I can get a silver medal because I definitely want to try and get myself the Turbo Cane 4. I'm not going to get gold because my farming level is only 21 and this is literally like the first time I've actually actually farmed. But we should do pretty good right now. I mean, I've got a pretty good setup, so... Oh, telekinesis. No, 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 no. Bro, I don't have telekinesis. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna be late. Okay, go to the gold mine. Oh, dude, this is so intense. Okay, I gotta speak to Barry. Telekinesis. Private island. Okay, now we can go. Dude, I'm getting so much. This is actually quite good. Okay, I'm chasing down the bronze medal. If you guys see in the scoreboard, it says bronze has plus one. And that means that I've just overtaken bronze, so that's gonna bring me into silver now. Okay, I have a bronze medal. Perfect. So now I just need to chase down Silver, who has plus 3,000, but I'm slightly catching up, I think. Yes, I got Silver, let's go. Okay, this is gonna be intense, because I'm gonna keep getting overtaken, but yeah, I'm back down to Bronze. No, but if I can somehow, like, maintain the Silver medal, that'll be so good. Yes, I got Silver again. Okay, so my first layer is about to be complete, which is kind of a problem, because my top layer doesn't have the, like, things that let you turn, so I'm gonna be slightly slower up here. But as long as I can maintain Silver, we should be fine. We're at 160,000. Also, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but my hoe turned uh, green because it's now uncommon because I broke over 100k sugar cane. So my rate of like getting cane is going to be slightly higher now because it's on the second out of third tier. To get it to the third tier, I probably need to break like a million. So yeah. Okay, we're still silver with 49 seconds to go. So I think we should have it. Three, two, one. Come on. Yes, dude, let's go. I think we got silver. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm just going to place a buy order for, let's see, 256 enchanted sugarcane for 13 mil. Because everyone on the entire server is going to be selling sugarcane right now. So now is probably the best time to buy it, like price-wise. Oh, I just got 55, 58. Yes, this is good. This is good. I need as much cane as I can because I just remembered that you can literally upgrade the hoe like two more times. I can upgrade it with enchanted sugar and then also enchanted sugar cane and I need four stacks for that. So I'm just going to keep going into the bazaar. Yes. Give me the cane. 52. Yes, we're getting so much, dude. I'm gonna get the most overpowered hoe. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So we have four entire stacks of enchanted sugar cane right now. And this stuff sells for 12.9 million coins. So it's safe to say that that's quite a lot. So if I just right click and check the next upgrade, you guys can see that I get plus 25 sugar cane and also plus 2% farming XP. Well, this thing actually has an ability too called logarithmic calculators. So it's probably way better. All I need for this is some enchanted sugar and some tickets. So I'm just gonna get that manually. Like I have the farm. So and there we go. Four stacks of enchanted sugar. Now to get my Jacob's tickets, I could just buy them and spend like a couple mil. But since I have some more rewards to claim, I'm just going to claim these and it should give me like close to enough. So I broke some cacti in the mushroom desert and just got a bronze medal. So if you guys want a free bronze medal, then just do that. Then I have a silver medal from breaking pumpkins, a bronze medal from breaking pumpkins, and then finally a silver medal from breaking sugarcane. Bang. All right. So we have a bunch of books right here and then I also have 60 Jacob's tickets. So that means that I just need to buy 270 of these. Hopefully that's not too expensive. 6.2 mil. All right, there we go. And now I finally have everything. Let's make the best hole in the entire game. This goes here. The enchanted sugar goes like this. And then I just need to put tickets in the corners. And now we can make the iron hole. Bang. Harvest plus 25% sugarcane, gain plus 3% farming XP. Harvest plus 16% sugarcane per digits on the counter, minus 4. Counter bonus plus 32% sugarcane. Okay, so this hole right here has probably like doubled my efficiency. I don't know why I didn't make this earlier, because I probably could have. I could probably get a gold medal now, like honestly. Okay, and finally, I need to craft the actual best hole in the entire game. So tickets go in all four corners, an entire stack this time, and then the enchanted sugarcane goes like this. And there we go. 
epic hole. Let's just check the stats of this thing. So, harvest plus 50% sugarcane, gain plus 5% farming XP. And this thing now has a second perk that says harvest plus 8% sugarcane per digits of your collection, minus 4. So yeah, my sugarcane collection isn't amazing. I'm definitely going to try to get it up. And if we hit the light goal today, then I guess I'll be getting farming 50. So my collection is going to be like, I don't know, probably like in the millions. So that's going to be a huge bonus. Straight up, I could probably get a gold medal right now. Like, I can also add turbo cane 4 to this book, which is what I'm going to do before the end of the video, because I can't do 5 but I can do 4 because I have a silver medal now. So yeah, I get a plus 16% bonus, and then a plus 32% bonus, and then also a plus 50% bonus, and then also another bonus, and then I also have the elephant pet, and then I also have farming 20 something, and I also have harvesting 5, so we're gonna be getting so much cane, it's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be like a plus 500% bonus. And if I eventually get farming 60, it's gonna be so good. Anyway, so right now I have two turbo cane 1 books, so I'm just gonna have to buy uh, two more, and then I'll combine them all together and make Turbo Cane 4 on my hoe. Okay, that's one book, and we just need a second. Bang. Combine these together. Combine these together. And Turbo Cane 4 hoe. Let's go, dude. So all I need now to get the best hoe in the entire game is a gold medal in the Sugar Cane contest. So going from not even having a single farm and being farming 20 to having the best hoe in the entire game is going to be kind of a big jump for one video. Also, if you guys look at the counter number on my hoe right now, you'll see that it says 3.5 million. And in the yellow, it says reach 10 mil counter for plus one rarity. And as you can see down there, it's a legendary hoe. So basically between now and the last clip you guys just saw, I've done a lot of grinding. Like I've got all the way to farm farming 26, which is quite big considering I started this video at farming 20. And I also used a recombobulator to 3000 on the hoe, which seems really overkill. And it kind of is, but it also gives me quite a bit more farming XP. So basically it gives me plus 1%, which I guess adds up in the end. So it's probably something that's kind of worth it. And that's because of the blessed bonus from the reforge that I gave this thing. So yeah, obviously if I want to actually upload this week, I'm going to have to make a second part to this video, um, which will probably just be me getting farming 50. I guess look forward to that. And also go ahead and follow me on Twitch if you guys want to watch the streams of me grinding my farming skill. I'm gonna start pretty much daily streaming on Twitch because there's so much for me to grind in Skyblock right now for videos that I might as well stream it, so yeah. Oh yeah, I just want to show you guys one more cool thing before this video ends. So if I break some pumpkins right now, you guys can see that above my hot bar, it says plus 9.3 farming XP. And um, obviously 9.3 is really good. And that's because I have a blessed pumpkin dicer, which has an ability that gives you plus 5 farming XP from pumpkins. And then also some farming XP from the blessed reforge because I also recombobulated this as well. I'm going kind of overkill with farming. So I know I've been kind of obsessing over cane, but pumpkins is actually slightly better than cane for farming XP, which is obviously expected. Like it's been that way for such a long time, but obviously cane is a really good money making method. And because of all of these new like abilities and enchants on the hoe, you can make up to, I think it's about 2.2 to 2.3 million coins per hour, or at least that's what I get. But if I was like farming 50, I'd probably be making like 5 million coins per hour. It would be absolutely crazy. So for people who grind farming, basically they can either get like 5% more XP from breaking pumpkins, or they can get 10 times the money from breaking cane. At the start of the next video, I'll probably just sell all of the cane that I've grinded from my like extra 10 farming levels. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I'm going to make so much money out of this. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. Um, It was obviously a different type of video. Like it was more of a project that took me like a week or so. I had to do all of this building and like edit all of the cinematics and stuff. So if you guys could leave a like and a comment and sub if you're not in the 70% who are already subscribed. Wait, no, who aren't already subscribed. That's what it is. Then you should definitely go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. My motivation for Skyblock is like, completely back as you can tell by how much work I've put into this video so expect a lot more uploads from now too I have a bunch of cool video ideas so it should be kind of cool anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later peace